and AFL owners left a meeting at a Dallas area resort hotel Wednesday proclaiming the unity behind a freshly minted five-year contract extension for Commissioner Roger Goodell, which will expire in 2024, but fractures with the group of owners were on public display throughout the negotiating process. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones opposed Goodell's new deal and even threatened at one point to sue over it, but Jones couldn't stop Goodell's contract from being completed and signed. Jones had his say to fellow owners behind closed doors Wednesday and then gave a commissioner-like news conference following Goodell's during which Jones spoke of the need to make changes to the NFL constitution and potentially limit the powers of the commissioner. It left room to wonder just how united the owners are. Most of the things that I've had real pushback on, I must tell you that if you aren't getting it, you probably aren't spending your time and your effort on something worthwhile, Jones said. But if you are getting it, then that tells you it's kind of like running through a block rather than running around a block. You know you're going right if you're having to run through the block. If it's fighting back really good, then you usually know that you're onto something really good. Goodell and Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank, the chairman of the Owners' Compensation Committee, seem to take an everyone nice and title to their opinion approach. I don't know if there's a rift going forward, Blank said. I think that Jerry, he loves the league. He loves the Cowboys. He's very passionate about issues that he cares deeply about, which is great. I think it's important to have different voices in the room. Said Goodell, my relationship with Jerry has been great. We don't always agree. I'm not paid to agree. He's not paid to agree with me. I think that's the strength of our league. As a league, we are stronger when 32 teams are together. We have our differences. But we work together to try to solve those differences and address them in a way that we think is going to be responsible. And I think we've done that. Clearly, there are wounds that must heal. Jones previously accused Blank of misleading owners about the negotiations. I was bothered by anything, I think the owners were bothered by anything, that was a distraction from the league and from the league's business and both the issues and the opportunities that the league has, Blank said Wednesday. I think there was a general strong feeling in the room that we need to bond together, be together, be a team both on the field and off the field as a group of owners in dealing with the issues and the opportunities the league has now. If Jones' aim in recent weeks was to oust Goodell, he never appeared to have anything close to the number of votes among the owners required to make that happen. Goodell probably will leave office before Jones has a chance to get Goodell out. Goodell will be 65 when his contract expires in 2024. NFL spokesman Joe Lockhart said Wednesday that Goodell has made it clear this will be his final contract as commissioner. Goodell refused to verify that. But multiple others familiar with the league's inner workings confirmed that Goodell has told owners he will usher them through the negotiations of the next labor deal with the players and the next set of TV contracts and then bow out, possibly even before 2024. It is expected that Goodell will help to groom his successor. There is no obvious choice at the moment. One possible candidate being discussed within the league is Brian Rolap, the NFL's chief media and business officer. In the interim, changes are coming to the league's power structure. In March, owners will consider a measure that would allow them, not Goodell, to appoint the chairman of the compensation committee. Goodell pointed out Wednesday that his powers already had been reduced he used to appoint the entire committee. Jones said Wednesday he sees the need for changes to an antiquated constitution, an antiquated situation as to the power of the commissioner. Discussions could be revived with the NFL Players Association about potential changes to the sports system of player discipline and a possible reduction of the commissioner's sweeping authority in that area. The NFLPA has sought to have players' appeals of discipline under the personal conduct policy and the integrity of their games rules decided by an independent arbitrator rather than by Goodell or a person appointed by him. We've discussed this with our Players Association, Goodell said. I told the ownership earlier Wednesday I could remember the first meeting in May or June of 2012. Dot dot dot. And we just haven't come to an agreement. That's something that I'm sure will come up in the context of the next collective bargaining agreement. But we've always been willing to consider that. It clearly is an issue that interests Jones after the league's six-game suspension of Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott which the NFLPA challenged in federal court and lost after a series of delays.
I would nt get specific, Jones said. But we all know we've that we've had problematic aspects to our discipline, our investigations. We all know that those have been there. At the annual league meeting in March, owners could consider a possible change to the league's national anthem policy. Multiple people familiar with the league's inner workings have said that some owners believe that, if players' protests during the anthem continue, the owners should consider changing the policy for next season to keep players in the locker room until after the anthem is played. That would be similar to the NFL's pre-2009 approach. Owners also will be briefed in more detail in March about the league's social activism accord with the players, by which the league and teams are to provide about $90 million in funding over a seven-year span to causes considered important to the players. Good Allen owners said throughout the discussions with the players that there was no agreement, either expressed or implied, that such a social justice plan being enacted would lead all players to stand for the anthem. Even so, some within the sport speculate that a few owners might wonder by March, if the players' protests continue all season, whether the agreement should have included such a stipulation. Jones didnt stop Goodell's contract from being completed. But he sounded ready at day's end Wednesday to continue to press for changes. As with any organization of any type whether it be business, social or otherwise, you have to evolve and you have to make changes, Jones said. And frankly, that is what this has been about. Now, if you saw anything happening, did I cause them to be made? You can't one person do it in the National Football League. It takes 32 owners to make the changes. And so anything that was done differently about this contract was done by all 32 owners.